Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can model of a plan, which you might just have as an image, in my case it's a JPEG file, and which might be quite rough, but you want to model as close as you can on it, because let's assume that's the only information you have. Alrighty, so in my SketchUp model I need to get the image in. Now I use the techniques in the book to create that image from a PDF, but now I have it as a JPEG. So I'm going to just pull it in right from here, from my desktop, and I'm just going to place it right there. Bingo. Now, the other way to doing this is to go to File, Import, and you pick all image types, and you browse to that image, and you're going to use it as an image. If you had clicked Use as a Texture, you would have to apply it to a rectangle, basically and the result is the same. It comes in just like this here as an image. I'm going to make this a little larger already and it's always good to do a diagonal uniform scale so that we got something that's a little closer to what we want to do. This is a fairly large lab um, space that I want to model in this case. All right. Now, two steps. Um, first one is that my building has its north direction aligned with the green axis. And I actually don't want to change this by rotating the image, which then wouldn't allow me to do proper shadows later. So I'm going to instead place the axis and rotate the axis. So I'm going to right click on the any of the axes, actually in my case the, the, the blue one. I'm going to say place. And then you want to zoom in as close as you can right here, right there. Okay, find a nice 90 degree intersection and then make sure you get this as good as you can. Obviously, we're modeling of a fairly grainy image, so it's not going to be perfect. So I clicked here once and now I can click there. And you can see already now my axes are perfectly aligned with the building. And I can now go ahead and actually draw right on top of this. Okay, so that was the first step. Second step for this is to scale the whole thing. And you could do this best if you know some kind of a dimension in this image. Because the image comes in without a scale, uh, um, which is different from any kind of CAD data that you might have pulled in. Uh, you need to scale it. So one that I have here is my 22 foot dimension that goes from there to here. And all I need to do here is to add a dimension. Again, as close as I can to the actual one. Right there. And I'm going to just place it a little out of the way. Right here. Okay. So now I know what it is and what it should be. <laughs> it should be 22 feet, and right now it's 26 and a bit. So what I need to do next is calculate the scale factor for this image so that um, I can multiply it by a certain scale factor, and the dimension that I just placed will then be um, 22 feet. So obviously I overshot it a little bit, and it's going to be a scale factor that's less than 1. So as it turns out, my scale factor is 0 0.83 and a bit. So what I need to do now is highlight just the image, not the dimension. And go to Scale again. The S key works really well for that. And again, do a uniform scale right here. So now you can see here when I do this, the dimension changes. So if I type in right now my 0 0.82... 986, close enough, and hit enter. The dimension has been updated. Bingo. So that's great. And now I can go ahead and start modeling off this. I can actually take this dimension away, and I can model just by drawing onto this plan now in relation to the to the current axis. 